Hi, and here's a real quick little video on how to sign up for and use Dropbox with some of the basics. Uh, go ahead and click open an internet browser of some type, Safari, Mozilla, um, Internet Explorer, whatever it may be, and go to www.dropbox.com. So you can see in the web address up there in the top corner. Okay, um, It's going to ask you to download Dropbox. It's kind of a website that's got a cloud feature similar to Google Docs where you can save everything to it. Um, it's different from Google Docs and Drive, though, where you really can't create anything. It's just a saving and sharing tool, something that we'll really take advantage of this year as well. So if you want to download it to your own personal devices, um, you most certainly can. Go up here to click Sign In. You can create an account, and it's going to have you answer four simple fields, similar to when we signed up for Twitter. You're going to type in your first name, your last name, your email address, make sure it is the school email address, your graduation year, your last name, your first initial, your middle initial, at usd115.org, and then your school password. Okay? Agree to the Dropbox terms and create the account. After it creates the account, it's going to take you to um, a page where it's going to want to run a few tutorials, walk you through some things itself, um, the main thing is you do not want to upload anything automatically. Click off of that right away. If you click upload automatically, anytime you plug a device into your computer, it will upload all new photos right away without you controlling it. So you do not want to allow any automatic uploads. I'm going to go ahead and sign in my account so I can show you what it looks like once you get into your Dropbox folder. Here I am in my folder, and it's pretty basic from here. Similar to Gmail, you've got your navigation over here to the side. Okay, and again, this little Get Started tab is going to really help you out in order to increase the memory space that you have available to you, and also to understand just some of the general features. What you can do, though, is you can upload documents, whether it be from the iPad, another computer in school, your own personal device, or a computer or laptop at home. I uploaded the biology syllabus 2012-2013 as a test run. Now let's assume I want to share this document. I highlight, so I put my cursor over the document to where you can see the little chain link move around with it. Get link. That pulls the document up in a new tab. And it allows you to share that document with others. So similar to the share feature in Google Docs and Google Drive. So here's where you will share the majority of the assignments or projects you'll turn in Dropbox. Add names or emails. kwilliams at usd115.org. That's who you'll share it with with me. And here you can type in a simple message. Okay. Notice that it is emailing me right now. You can also uh, post some of these things on Facebook or Twitter. But right now, email me the link, and that way I can access whatever you are submitting. Click send, and away it will go. By clicking on the document, it automatically downloads it to your desktop or your device. And right here we can see that Biology 2012-2013 has been placed in my downloads. And now Word is opening it up. And we don't need it to pull up, so we'll go ahead, and once it flashes up here, we'll go ahead and quit. So there's the document. I had taken it from the Internet and opened it up on the device I'm currently working on. Sharing folder. Here's where you can create folders. You may create a biology class folder and place everything in there, and I have access to all of that material automatically. So again, just kind of play around, um, follow the get started, uh, mess around with the site a little bit, and see everything that it has to offer. This is a simple tutorial on how to sign up for, sign into, and utilize some of the basic Dropbox sharing features.